quick unboxing for you guys. Obviously, by the backdrop, you can tell it's going to be a watch review. It's um, got this bad boy in the mail. So, here goes nothing. Alright, it's from Amazon, as you can tell. Uh, the packaging. My uh, Spider Coast Sage to uh, unbox it. Alright. Here we go. It's a G-Shock, clearly. Um, I'm not sure if it says what it is on there. Yeah, it does. Casio G7900 7G. White Digital Sport Watch. New. So, we'll see. Try to get this in. Focus there. Got a good deal on this. You can see the tin. Nice. There's a thing here. Watch out. Take a peek at it. Look at the tag there. Hanging off. Now this retails at uh, $99 US. I got it for $71. Um, actually, do I even have to set it? <laughs> yeah, it's an hour off. It's only uh, 512 here. but yeah, So I'll give you guys a quick overlook. Um, my first impression is I, re I really like it. It's a nice, it's more of a matte, matte finish than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a bright white. It's more of a matte white, and the blue is not as bright as it seemed. Um, let me get a better lighting. Hold on a sec. There. So you guys can see it a little better. Uh, it's not really as bright as I thought it was going to be. The blue's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. Um, but, whatever, you know. It is what it is. Single band. I'm used to these uh, double extra large ones, but whatever. It's cool. Normal G-Shock. That looks a little loose to me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just his model. Um, my other ones aren't like that. Bent them forward and there's no, no give. No give like that. No give. Um, it's kind of weird. They're almost like broken. You see that gap in there. But I think sitting on the wrist. It's not going to look as bad. Pop this on my wrist real quick. I like it. Pretty dope on the wrist. It's a little heavy. Um, even for a G-Shock. It's a little heavy. You got the Tide feature on there. Day, day. Nice. I'll run through the modes real quick. So you got the Tide, Stopwatch, Stopwatch 2, Timer, Alarm. And you can do the alarms like this Alarm 1, Alarm 2, 3, 4, 5, Signal, Snooze. So normal G Shock setup, then World Time. Back to your home screen. And to adjust this, I gotta put it back an hour. So you go like that, and you skip over with mode. Skip past the daylight savings time. That's to set your uh, your moon phase, I believe. And I gotta bring that back an hour. So put the little reverse up there, and um, adjust. So there's your longitude. 
I'm just gonna skip all that shit for right now. I'm gonna get it set up tonight. I'll look all that shit up and set it up better. But yeah, pretty decent. Um, I don't know about those gaps. I don't really like that. Doesn't make me feel safe with the strap, but I'm sure it's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm gonna look them up, and find out. But it's a little weird with the gap there. I still like it though. It's gonna get some use, so um, it's kind of just a first impression video. I can tell you though, I love this the GA one ten GB. It's a nice watch. I've had this for quite some time now, like eight months or so. It was a daily wear for about four months. Um. It's not that badly beat up, considering four months, you know, and then I got this, which I like a lot. Um, I'm going to do some full reviews on these pretty soon, but the loom's good. It just doesn't loom on that white minute hand, and obviously not on, uh, on the red hour hand either. But it does loom up around the edges. It's not very good. Um, I'd say it lasts probably like half hour tops at like full charge but I mean it's good if you are out in the sun and you duck in real quick it's pretty decent but I really love this watch this has been on my wrist it goes with pretty much everything because everything I got for shoes and shit is red and black so it goes really good with uh, most of my shit my Jordans and shit which I just got not too long ago Definitely goes with those pretty good. But, yeah. So that's the new Casio G Shock I picked up 7900-7, I think. Uh, not sure. Yeah, 7900-7, 7900A-7. So. Is what it is, guys. Another G Shock. I don't see the warranty card, which is kind of weird. No warranty card. Um, usually they have that shit in here, but it's not in there. So I don't know what's up with that. Might contact the seller and see if I can get an explanation. But. I definitely like it. So what's up? Check out the light. Oh yeah. Lights right up. It's set to three seconds, I believe. Yeah. So that's pretty decent. Yeah, three seconds. Awesome. I don't have to fix that. You can see if I get up nice and close here. Your signal, your snooze, your auto yell, mute. Uh, one, two, three, four. All uh, posted on the sides here. So you can tell what you got on and what you got off. Whereas, like this, the G100 GB? No, G. I don't even know. G100, GA100B. Uh, this one tells you up here, you got your alarm, your signal, your uh, auto light, and your snooze all up here. It's pretty sweet. And then you got your uh, day date down here. Digital time. Date. It's pretty cool. It works. It's functional. I really like it. Oh, I'm not sure what this one does when you hit that. Nothing. Alright, it just beeps. But, yeah, so. I'd say definitely worth uh, picking one of these bad boys up. So. Gives you a little bit different of a tone when you hit the home screen, which is cool. But, yeah. 
So if you guys have any questions about setting up a G-Shock or whatever, they're all pretty much the same. Um, except for this, so obviously you guys set the tide and shit, but like I said, I'll look that up and uh, figure that out. Because I'm not sure where my tide's at or moon phases right now, but I will get it all set up. Um, if you have any questions about any model G-Shock, pretty much, you can, you can hit me up. Because between these, I mean, the only one I wouldn't have, uh, this one sucks right now. It's like broken. You hit the button and it shuts off. I think it just needs a new battery. And it comes on at a random date and random times. Doesn't even stay consistent. As you can see, it's all messed up. So I'm going to get a new battery for this one. This is my son's watch now. Yeah. So, any questions, like I said, about G-Shocks in general or whatever, um, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment or whatever. I can I can help if I know what it is that the problem is or whatever. Just detail it. If you need me to do a video on it, I can do that too. So, tag you in there or something. But. And don't buy none of that knockoff crap, guys. For real. My son, I bought this for him originally because I didn't want to give him the 2300. Um, it lights up good and shit, but look. Broken within 10 minutes. And it's like flimsy. It's it's a piece of crap. Don't, don't buy that knockoff shit. I don't recommend it at all. None of that shit's functional. It's supposed to be a 6900. None of that shit works. But, uh, it has way less modes. Like the alarm, it just has one alarm. See, that sets it instead of switches to the next alarm. It sucks. I mean, in my opinion, this thing really sucks. I mean, it keeps decent time. You can see, like, that's gonna read pretty close to the same time. So it's off four minutes. I don't even think it is, because. Yeah, 522, 519. So it's off like three minutes, four minutes. And it's been sitting in a drawer since we got it because I put it on his wrist and then we went to turn it so that it was, you know, on the other side of his wrist. So, and it broke. It just snapped in half. Like, you get a G Shock, you can flip that around on your wrist, even with it tight. It ain't got a break on you. It shouldn't, you know. Uh, but whatever. Cheap. Don't, don't do it. It's stupid. Save your money. I mean, you can get an older G-Shock like this for like 49 50 bucks on Amazon. It will do that. Don't go $13 and wait two weeks, three weeks for them to ship it to you. Like, fuck that. Buy a real one and be impressed instead of being disappointed. Alright, guys. But that's, uh, that's my quick little unboxing of the 7900. Um... Uh, that I just picked up. So thanks for looking, rate, subscribe. I uh, got another unboxing that I want to upload. Maybe with this one, I'm not sure. I'm getting it tomorrow. Um, it's a watch repair kit and uh, a Seiko. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of a lot of watch videos coming up, as well as my knife knife videos will still be going um, I'm just buying a lot less knives and a lot more watches as of late so but there will be a full review of the Sage 2 coming up and also a full review of my uh, 0561 because I've been using them for a couple weeks now and getting a feel for them what not love both of them by the way so yeah but back to watches um, definitely highly recommend the G-Shocks. I love those things. They take a beating, man. I mean, I've taken this thing off of so many things. Walls. Uh, slammed it in a car door. Um, by accident. Not not on purpose. And, uh, it's still held up perfect. There's not even a ding on the freaking thing. So, that's great. You know, this one's got a ding on it. Up here. 
right there focus but that's it um, this one's like six years old and has minimal damage considering my son's worn this for a while until it crapped out on him because it doesn't take a charge anymore it is solar but it doesn't take a charge so it's got to be the battery I think or the solar panel or something I'm not sure I'll try replacing the battery if that don't work I'll probably just junk it I don't know but thanks for looking guys I'm all done rambling take it easy rate subscribe comment questions whatever peace